Hello. Now, when you're familiar with the diagnosis of the patient for whom I created this um, um, garment adaptation, I will uh, provide some explanations and uh, demonstrations. So, first of all, this is the garment that the person, the client bought. It's made by Sexy Diva. Um, it's a piece that's made from the stretchy polyester material. It has shorts on the bottom and long sleeves. Um, the client purchased this uh, suit because, first of all, it really appealed to her sense of passion. She was injured when she was 17 years old, so she is still remaining, you know, being a 33, 34 years old adult, she is still remaining in this stage when she likes bright colors, um, uh, kind of loud jewelry, <laughs> she wears wigs. Um, so she really liked this suit. She was also recently, <clears throat> quite recently, married to her high school sweetheart. She normally now wears um, like yoga pants, tight yoga pants, and a t-shirt. Sometimes I see her wearing dress. Uh, since she spends most of her time in bed and some in wheelchair, uh, all those garments gather up. It's not very co comfortable, really. And because she has a um, um, stay in catheter, uh, yoga pants are also not very good because she will have to have this line coming out of her catheter in, into the bag that collects urine and that is all normally attached to her legs so with her legs being kind of bare here and um, you know it's very it's it's very easy to just thread the uh, catheter line and uh, arrange her along one of her legs I will demonstrate how the caregivers will don the one-piece suit onto the patient prior to adaptations. So first, they would thread the patient's leg through the short part of the suit, something like that, right? Except um, it wasn't very comfortable because Klein has very long legs. She's um, almost six foot tall and she has lots of spasticity in all her joints and lower extremities. Then they would thread um, client's pelvis and hips through the garment, right? I probably have to kind of lift her a bit. And then they would prop her into seated and they thread each arm and hand through the sleeve, right and left sleeve of the garment. It worked, but it wasn't the most comfortable solution um, for two reasons. Because you know it is a pretty um, labor laborious procedure. Uh, the person is six foot tall almost. She's very slender, but she's a big woman. And so once she is dressed, um, there was no access to her G tube located in her uh, abdomen on her left and um, there was really very little access to her perineal area which is required for hygiene or you know diaper change or even um, you know dealing with her catheter line so this is how the client came up uh, for me with adaptations because she best understands her situations and the needs in this case mostly the needs of her caregivers she suggested um, that I create first of all a a little opening in in the abdomen so for that I basically we literally put the suit on her and I took a sticky tape you can see here this, this was a kind of sticky tape I used uh, I used it on the um, uh, right side of the fabric I just basically marked with a uh, sticky tape the location of the uh, G-tube then I cut a little opening which was about one uh, inch in diameter and I created this cute which I thought also was sexy pocket from matching fabric and I covered it with black lace um, there is a little button that I just covered with the original material and I hand knitted from um, sewing thread this little loop so you can um, secure this loop around the button and it will just hold and nobody will even know that she has a G-tube but because she's heavy and tall as I said um, 
she will be often handled by male caregivers who will for instance transfer her from bed to wheelchair and back and uh, may help with the uh, feeding so that her concern was privacy and this is how the idea came about the male caregivers do not have to you know pull up her shirt they do not have to pull up her uh, dress now all they need to do to access her g-tube is open this little opening and here will be her g-tube um, now the second adaptation um, in the crotch of the shorts is um, for her female care caregivers who perform all her uh, hygiene, including perineal hygiene, change of diapers, and uh, they also handle her um, catheter and her uh, bags that collect urine. So adaptations that I made additionally open opportunities for different ways of donning the garment. Um, I demonstrated how the garment would be um, Put on the client before but we have to remember that she has spasticity and she's a big and tall and heavy person so sometimes it is uh, much easier to um, put the garments starting from her head like a pull over so in this case if you undo the crotch that's precisely what you can do so now if this part of the pillow is a head the client, uh, the caregivers can first put the garment over the, her head. Then they can thread one hand at a time, basically while sh she's still laying, you know, thread each um, arm and hand at the time. She has a little bit uh, more control in her left arm. So maybe starting with the right uh, arm, which is totally paralyzed. Her right side of the body is totally paralyzed and then starting with her left arm um, and then you can spread the rest of the garment maybe just turning the client from side to side rather than um, kind of maintaining holding her and seated um, and then finally you know that her crotch can be um, snapped in place Diapers can be changed now easily without removing the entire garment. So um, I think this is going to be a very useful adaptation for this client, particularly because it was really invented by herself, knowing her uh, specific needs, which are kind of, as we uh, learn out there, both um, psychological and uh, physical needs. Um, I also want to say that this client does not necessarily currently use any of the ad, um, adapted clothing. She has a lot of adaptive equipment um, in her life. So otherwise, you know, including adapted computer, wheelchair that she controls with her head and um, a, a lift that is um, montage in the wall of her um, house going from the main floor to the basement and so on and so on but she is aware of course of um, some of the adaptive clothing including um, the bras with front closure but they do not really apply to her because um, they would be completely handled by the caregiver again and they do not change the difficulty of the process um, considerably enough I guess um, so I am uh, um, including the links into this uh, video presentation that I found on the website that sells adaptive clothing and they have a specific page that is devoted to people with quadriplegia so somebody who has very uh, limited um, functioning and spend a lot of time in, in a wheelchair those are this solution that you will see in the video um i that i link to this presentation is not appealing to the client first of all it's not appealing aesthetically it's mostly tailored towards older adults and secondly she is she has no weight bear, bearing um capability whatsoever in her legs they are very um spastic uh, her feet are totally extended so are really not uh, pertinent to her and 
in a way, um, I should say that this adaptation that I created for the garment is unique and it is unprecedented. I included the resources that you just hopefully reviewed because I want you to be aware that uh, there are um, adaptations, adap adapted clothing available for individuals with quadriplegia that make the process of donning clothing uh, overhead easier. Those are the adaptations with um, snaps on shoulders that make the neck and shoulder opening uh, easier. Uh, for donning and um, another set of adaptations all pertain to um, to make the toileting easier and hygiene easier so those adaptations are definitely out there and this I hope is going to be a good resource for you on that website but also I want to uh, say for our clients that they have sometimes very unique needs in terms of what they want to wear and um, how they want to be handled and we have to be very um, sensitive about those issues of the client and by listening to their specific unique needs we can create um, using our additional skills and solving knitting uh, just being simply handy we can uh, create a truly custom uh, made pieces that will reflect individual needs of our clients. Thank you for your attention.